Hello everyone, welcome to the second lecture of deflection. In the previous video, we saw all the formulas for different support conditions. In this video, let us look into certain MCQ questions that will help us to understand the concepts better. So let's get started. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. So the first question is a simply supported beam with width B. Okay, and depth D carries a central load W. Well, simply supported beam carries a central load W and undergoes deflection at the center. If the width and depth are interchanged, the deflection at the center of the beam would attain the value what? So, delta 1 for the section looks like this. For delta 2, your section looks something like this. This becomes T, this becomes B. In this case, what will be our deflection they are asking? So, what is the deflection formula for this? Deflection is equal to W L cube divided by 48 EI. So, from this we can see when uh, the section properties are interchanged, only I will change, the other things won't change. So, we can see that delta is a property of I in this case. So, delta 1 is equal to 1 by I1 I can write, delta 2 is equal to 1 by I2. So, from this I need to find what is I delta 2, right? They have asked that only deflection when it is interchanged. So, if I write delta 2 by delta 1, it will be equal to I1 by I2. So, what is I1? I1 is this section. So, it is uh, B D cube by 12 divided by I2 is this section D B cube by 12 option B. Next question, two identical cantilevers are loaded as shown. If the slope at free end of the cantilever shown in figure A is theta, the slope at the free end of the cantilever shown in figure B is what? So, what is the general formula? M is applied here. So, the general formula is ML divided by, for theta it is ML by uh, EI. Just ML by EI. Sorry, this is ML by EI. So, they have given M is equal to PL by 2. So, on substituting, you will get PL square by 2 EI. So, this is equal to theta. They are telling, they are told it is equal to theta. Now, what is the formula for the slope formula for this loading condition, it is PL square by 2 EA. So, when you compare them both, they are equal. So, you can say that the slope at this point is also equal to theta. So, your answer is option D. Next question. So, this cantilever, it is subjected to both uh, point load and uh, a moment. As for deflection, only one has all those answers. So, it is option B. Next question. A horizontal beam of length L of uniform cross section is pinned at ends A and B. Pinned means it is simply supported A, B. At A there is a anti-clockwise moment M. At B there is a clockwise M moment 2M. The slope at A and N, B are respectively what? So this uh, section it can be divided into uh, two things. Moment applied at this end plus moment applied at this end. You can divide them into two sections. Here it is just M. So we have already seen what is the formula. First I am going to write theta A and then I am going to write theta B. So if I take theta A for uh, this thing, if I take this is A, this is B. If I am going to take uh, for this loading condition, my theta A will be moment is present at this side. Therefore, uh, here the moment will be more. So, it is M L divided by, it would have been uh, 3 EI. Whereas, at theta B, it will be M divided. We are only looking at this condition, not at this condition. For this applied moment, at A, it will be this much. At B, it will be M L divided by 6 EI. Now, uh, if you come to uh, this loading diagram, theta A will be, uh, since it is plus, I am going to take plus here. Since A will be, A is at the farther end, therefore it will be less. It will be M L divided by, uh, so it will be 6 E A. So, here M is not just M, it is 2 M. So, I will be writing 2 M. Plus here it will be 2 M L divided by 3 E A. So, on doing so, I can see that. So, this is equal to 2 M L by 3 E A. So, your answer is option D. Two, option D. Next question, a cantilever beam 
of length L carries an UDL W till mid span. What is the deflection at the free end? So we have already seen this in the previous video. It is equal to uh, 7 W L power 4 divided by 384 AI. So the answer is option D. Option B. Next is a cantilever beam of length L is subjected to a concentrated load at P at the free end what is the deflection at the center of the beam so uh, here another concept I have to tell is uh, if a load is opting here and then again a load is acting here so in this case they are asking you to find the deflection of this point and in this case they are asking you to find the deflection of this point they will both be same uh, the deflection at this point due to load at the free end will be equal to the deflection at the free end due to load at this specific point so we already know what will be the deflection at this point when load is acting here it will be 5 pl cube divided by 48 ei we have already seen this in the previous uh, video therefore if my load is acting here and i have to find the um, deflection at the mid span then it will be also equal to the same so your answer is option a so in case you don't know how to do this then uh, you can go with the uh, conjugate beam method uh, next question a four meter long beam uh, simply supported at it ends carries a point load w at the center if the slope of the uh, slope at the end of the beam is so and so the deflection so slope is equal to one degree Deflection at the center of the beam is what? The deflection formula for the given load conditions and support condition is equal to 48, right? Uh, it is equal to uh, WL cube divided by 48 EI. So from this, we, we, let me write the formula for theta also. It is equal to WL square divided by 16 EI. So this can be written as WL square divided by 16 EI into L by 3. If you multiply, you'll get 48EA. At the top, you'll get WL cube by uh, WL cube. So this is equal to theta. So I can substitute this to theta. So my deflection is equal to theta into L by 3. So L is already 400. I'm going to write it in as 4000 because they have given it in millimeters. So theta they have given it is 1 degree. So here I have to uh, mention another formula which is equal to pi radians is equal to 180 degree so from this you have to find what is 1 degree so 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radians so it is equal to 1 degree if it is 2 degree then you have to multiply 2 here since it is 1 degree i'm going to substitute it by pi by 180 so pi by 180 into 4000 by 3 is equal to what on doing so i'll get that my answer is equal to 23.27 millimeter next question a simply supported beam ab of span l has a uniform cross section throughout it carries a uh, central concentrated load w and it also carries an uh, uniformly distributed load throughout its entire span so what will be the maximum deflection so maximum deflection will be due to this load and due to uriel so it is equal to W L cube divided by 48 EI W capital W here and if this is equal to small W then it will be small W L power 4 divided by uh, 384 EI so here it is not small W they have told it is capital W this can be written as W L cube divided by 48 EI plus 5 capital W L cube divided by 384 yeah so this is 48 uh, into 8 is uh, 384 so i can write that it is equal to 8 plus 15 of wl cube by 384 yeah so it is equal to 13 your answer is option b next question a cantilever beam of span l of uniform rigidity e I is loaded with an upward force W at midpoint and downward force P at free end. What is the deflection at the free end? Uh, the deflection at the free end will be zero if. So now we have to uh, 
equate what will be the deflection at the free end due to this load and this uh, we have to tell that it will be equal and find out what is the value of w for it they have asked what is the value of w so for this point load it will be the deflection the upward deflection will be equal to w uh, l cube divided by 48 ei into 5 that is in the previous video itself we have seen the formula which will be equal to the deflection due to this will be P L cube divided by 3 E A. So E A A will get cancelled. So from this I can say that this is also will get cancelled. This will be 16. So from this I can say W is equal to 16 by 5 into P. Your answer is option C. Next is a cantilever is shown in figure. Deflection uh, at C due to couple applied at B is equal to what? Deflection at C is equal to deflection at B plus theta b into the length involved here the length involved is l so we have to do that uh, in the formula that we have discussed we saw that this distance was l by 2 therefore uh, that formula cannot be used since it is l here so what is my uh, deflection at b deflection at b is equal to um, ml divided by 2 ea because the length is also l plus uh, what is the slope there ml uh, by ea that is the slope at B. So it is ML by EI into L. Sorry, it is ML square here. So this will become ML square by 2 EI plus ML square by EI should be equal to 3 by 2 ML square by EI. So your answer is option C. So with this, we have seen 10 questions. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.